Good morning. I'm here with Patrick Hurley, candidate for Blue Valley School Board. On behalf of the Johnson County Public Policy Council, thank you, Patrick, for being here today. Thank you for asking me. The Johnson County Public Policy Council is made up of 10 Chambers of Commerce in Johnson County. Our goal is to provide information about public policy issues impacting area businesses. You ready to get started? I am, thank you. As a candidate, what are your top three policy issues? Well, excellence in education, fiscal responsibility, and social emotional awareness. Good. The Kansas Supreme Court recently ruled the current school funding formula is both equitable and adequate. However, the court retained jurisdiction over the case to assure the funding is maintained. Briefly, what are your thoughts on the new formula and the additional dollars that have been added to K-12 through school funding? Well, I think it's uh, great that we finally got to the point where the uh, funding issues in the court have been resolved. Um, I think the uh, new formula is a good starting place along with the additional money. But, uh, you know, education is terribly critical to our economy and our communities. And so I think each year it's important that we evaluate and look at what the educational funding needs are as we go forward. With the recent ruling by the Supreme Court that the funding formula and related funding are constitutional, it's likely the legislature will look closely at accountability measures for student performance. Please describe the accountability measures you support and believe are reflective of student achievement. Well, I think currently in the Blue Valley School District, we provide a number of uh, measures uh, that help us gauge and assess uh, the uh, student learning and their performance. And overall, many of those uh, provisions that we currently have, we would recommend to the Kansas Legislature. You know, we have uh, MAP testing, we have uh, PSAT, we have SAT, ACT, we have world language, we have uh, participation of kids in a variety of extracurricular activities. And so you need both the qualitative and the quantitative elements to make sure that children are developing at rates that are beneficial and uh, productive for themselves in terms of how they want to pursue their, their educational goals and ultimately career uh, or further education readiness. Kansas is experiencing all-time low unemployment rates and employers are struggling to find qualified workers, especially in technical and skilled trades. How do you see the Blue Valley School District helping to meet our business community's future workforce needs through technical education and training? Well, Kevin, that's really a great question, and, and quite honestly, uh, you know, that's one of the things currently that in the Blue Valley School District that we are focusing on, and we're continuing to develop our relationship and partnerships with the Johnson County Community College. This year, we're adding two new programs uh, for uh, our students in high schools who can get dual credit for both high school and college credit. Um, in, uh, there's an auto mechanic program that we just started and there's a construction management program that we just started. And so we want to continue to expand and develop um, these programs to make sure that uh, we're helping students um, achieve what they want to from, a, from an educational standpoint, uh, from a career standpoint, from an academic standpoint, but more importantly that we're providing relevant instruction to where our employers in the community uh, will want to seek out our students. And other than funding, what do you see as the greatest challenge facing the district? Well, certainly for the Blue Valley School District, it's important that we continue to attract and retain the best teachers and the best staff. Uh, that's going to be the number one priority. Obviously, rising costs of uh, building uh, maintenance um, is another obviously issue. We have uh, 37 different buildings uh, of instruction and so um, being able to uh, maintain those buildings uh, and provide the educational instructional needs throughout the system is going to be very important. As we wrap up, tell us why you're seeking public office. Well first I want to say that it's been an honor and privilege to serve the last four years as a Blue Valley School Board District member. Um, it is absolutely important that we continue to provide educational excellence, that we continue to seek out uh, the best staff to provide the best environment uh, for our children. No two children really learn at the same rate or in the same way. And so being able to provide that flexibility and help children achieve their educational goals is really going to be critical. You know, as a lawyer, I've benefited from the educational system and I appreciate and understand how important it is 
to um, the community and our economic, economic development. You know, it's one of these things that I've had the great uh, pleasure of understanding and experiencing the Kansas legislative process, and so it's that experience that I think really helps us in this time of funding challenges that's going to make the difference uh, for the kids going forward. And I ask for your vote on November 5th. Thank you. Well, Patrick, thanks for joining us today, and we wish you the best of luck with this year's election. Thank you very much, Kevin.